Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day eight of our Winter Warrior series. Uh, let's see, didn't do too much last night. After the Horde Night was over, I went back home, just kind of hung out. And I'll show you real quick what I did is I used my one skill point and put it in a minor 69er and was able to make myself a hammer. We're going to need that today because if you recall in the very beginning of this series, I said I was going to try and build my own base and I'm still going to try to do so. Let me get rid of this real quick. I have an idea of where I want to put it and I have a general idea of what I want to do. Now, how much I'm able to get done each individual episode? No idea. I'm, I'm, it's not going to be one of those, you know, one episode we're going to do it. it yeah. It's not going to happen. I'm not even going to bother taking that. I don't need it today. What I do need is a tremendous amount of wood. So when I had come down this direction once before, I noticed there was a small plot of land over here. And I wanted to check out to see what it looked like because it'd be nicer. It, let me see. It would be nice to have a base closer to the trader over there. And here's my other chest. Did I leave anything in there? A little bit. Nothing that I have to have. I'll go ahead and add you just because I already have a stack of you. Ooh, I'll take some coffee with me. You never know we're going to need that. And the rest of this stuff we should be okay on. So far, we haven't seen any wildlife, but then again, it's foggy, so who knows? See, the trader is right down that street, not too far from there. So I was thinking, if I built a house right here, look at that. It's all nice and primed and ready to go. My, I'm just going to basically live in the neighbor's yard. I could put up a fence over there if I need to and just, you know, claim this one as mine. I think this will be a pretty good place. Um, I would be kind of right in the middle of town. I know this town extends further this direction and then it goes off that way. So I'd kind of be right in the middle, which would not be a horrible, horrible thing. But one of the first things I need to do is I need to get a tremendous amount of wood. Um, there's not a lot of trees right here, but I'm going to try... I'll check this. Maybe there's some wood in the trash. Nope, just a couple extra cans. So let me get a little bit of extra wood real quick and so we can at least get started. We're close to leveling up again too, so that would be kind of nice. Uh, is that a wolf or a cat? I can't tell. Oh, that's a cat. That's a big kitty. Okay, let's go this way and look for wood. Okay, I don't know how much wood you get for chopping down a telephone pole. Oh, well, not much because it's done in segments. Uh-oh, don't don't tell anybody. Nobody call the HOA. We just, <laughs> we just did something really bad. Okay, so you get like two pieces of wood for each chunk. I don't know why I was expecting that to fall apart like a tree, but it did not. Any eggs in here? Might as well check. Hey, a couple eggs. Nice. I'm not going to worry about doing replanting. Let's see, there's Al. He's kind of wandering around doing his own thing. Not much wood from that either. How much do we have total? 555. That's at least enough to get started. Yeah, leveled up. I'm not going to spend that skill point just yet because I need to evaluate what I exactly I want to put it into. But let's get back over to my newly claimed home. Having this fence over here, it's not going to do a whole lot. Well, okay, the fence is right there and over there. It's not going to do a whole lot if the cat comes in from that side. All right, so uh, let me see. Do I, ha I do have my hammer. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to make myself a little bit of an elevated base. It's something I always want to do. I like being a little bit off the ground. It gives me a little bit of reprieve if the zombies decide that they want to show up and start some crap. So we're going to try and make it a few blocks off the ground. I'm going to try and upgrade this as I go so that it's at least strong on the bottom. And once I find some cobblestone, I can at least upgrade the outer layers of it. But to start with, it's going to be pretty much just... Well, it's going to be just this. And I'm only going to go three blocks off the ground because it doesn't need to be any higher than that. It's a waste of resources. Three blocks high will keep anything from being able to hit it and give me a little bit of an elevated position. So that's three blocks up. One more for the actual flooring itself. We're going to go ahead and go like, oh, I need to make some more frames. Yay, we're going to run out of wood real fast. Okay, we'll make another 50. That won't take too many. Nice. That actually won't take too many. Um, go ahead and put you like this. Kind of square off. Hello? All right, good to go. And good to go like that. And get all these upgraded. Okay, that's going to be how high the platform is. And so you can see I got a nice little T-frame all the way around. That should do a pretty decent job of at least getting it kind of started. And then from here, what I can do is I can extend all the way out and around. Okay, that should be, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Make sure it's nice and square. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that should be good as far as the square goes. Um, I would like to have the inside of my house to be about six by six, uh, which means I need to have, if I'm going to have a walk away around, it needs to have a seven by seven. But what I need to do to make sure there's ample amount of support, a pillar might actually look okay. 
If I put you like that, yeah, that'll look okay. Add a little bit of aesthetics here. Okay, so if I need you to go out like one, two, three, and that should give me enough room to, nah, I don't need to go out that far. We'll do right, right there. So we got ample amount of support. Okay, so one, two, three, like that. Okay. Okay, that should actually work as far as giving me all the extra support I need. Let me see if I can get lucky enough to do this here. Got it. Okay, and then I can build out from there, and it'll be a little bit uh, pleasing here. Now, I don't have to have, you know, columns here. I'm only doing it just because I think it would look nice. We get all these upgraded, and we can extend the floor out a little bit, and that'll be pretty much all we need as far as the base level goes. We can build out a good little bit. The next challenge will be once we get up high enough to where we can have a roof over the top of it because most wood blocks only allow you to do uh, seven as far as like how far it overhangs. Um, anything more than seven frames and it starts collapsing. So you gotta make sure you have plenty of supports underneath it. I don't want the zombies to show up and all of a sudden they hit one block and ta-da, I'm now falling apart here. Um, real quick, because it's always something that I completely forget. Let me upgrade all of these real quick. As I'm doing so, I want to tell you guys, if you didn't know, I, I mentioned it a couple times here and there, but it's rare for me to mention it in a video. But if you did not know, every week now for the last month, a little over a month now, I have been streaming over on Twitch every single Thursday morning, 10 a.m. Central Time. That's 10 a.m. Mine Time until, you know, three or four o'clock in the afternoon. Been playing random games. I'm not streaming seven days a day over there. Um, so if it's something you want to do, if you want to follow me over there, um, you can. It's free to follow, of course. And then you get notified when I go live. The link is in the video description down below. Twitch.tv slash Cap00, of course, just like all the other places that I have any kind of presence on there. And anyway, stream over there. So if you guys want to ever come hang out and chat with me while I'm actually live streaming, that would be really cool. You know, we have, we're just closing in on 2,000 followers. We're almost there. Uh, we have like s almost 70 actual subscribers. So that's pretty good. We, we have a nice little community growing there, and I, I'm very happy about the way that it's been going. And I'm I'm just you know, I, I want to continue to grow it. it. It's something that I'm really interested in. It's something that I'm having a lot of fun with. We've been playing a lot of fun games over there. Um, it's just a really really good time. So if you wanna if you wanna come over and watch me stream, if you're available to go follow me over there. Like I said, trying to get to 2,000 followers. We're getting some frame drops, so I have to assume the rabbits are. Calling in all their buddies with bigger teeth. Keep an eye out for things. I'm going to get this little bitty tree here because it's a little bit of wood. See if we can get the last little bit of these upgraded here. Around the main supports of the corners. We need to get some cobblestone so we can really upgrade this and be nice and strong against all these idiots. Nice. Okay, so he's at least able to get the main part of them done. That's not a bad start. I need to get a ton more wood before we can do any additional building on this, but that should allow me I put a ladder like one more block down so I can jump up and they can't finish extending this out and that should be good. I'm going to go check out and see what's in this barn because it sounds like there's a lot of ruckus going on. But anyway, um, I hope you guys will go check it out over there. Like I said, it, you know, we have a good time streaming over there. Um, I post when I'm going live in Discord and on Twitter and Facebook and everything. But if you follow me over there, you'll get an email when I go live. So you, you don't have to worry about trying to set up the notifications or anything there. And it's always nice to talk to you guys live. It, it's every week we have some people that are, have never used Twitch before, who've never um, chatted with me live before. It's just a lot of fun. And there's a wolf coming over to investigate things. If you could not, that'd be great. I need some wood. Oh, hang on. I'm not sure how you're not alive after all that commotion, but I mean, I, you're alive. You're just not awake. You know what I mean. All right, see if we can hit Tom on the fly here. Biff. Splat. Give my arrow back. Give it to me. There we go. And I think that's everybody. I did not bring my torch with me, so I apologize. It's going to be a little bit dark in here, but maybe we can get some good loot. I haven't been in here before. Got a ladder next to me. We'll head up to... See if we got anything good in here. Steel tool parts. That's not terrible considering that I'm able to actually make tools now. It's not a bad thing to have some of those. Okay, we'll head upstairs in a minute. I want to make sure I got everything downstairs first. Looks like there's something in here. Goldenrod seed. Nope, not going to worry about you just yet. I uh, should probably get this since, you know, it's useful. A little bit of cobblestone. Definitely do some upgrades. 
Sounds like we got some lively bunch outside. Let's see who's... Make sure it's not the wolf that's moving around. Hey, what's up, dude? Not much with you. I'm afraid I'm going to turn around and he's going to be right in my butt. Make sure this is reloaded. And this is reloaded. Okay. I do need to get a headlamp. I've, I've had one or two people mention in the comments, why don't I just give myself one? Obviously, it'd make life a little bit easier for everybody involved to be able to see. And I don't disagree with that. But you, anytime in the past that I've ever done those kinds of things where I give myself one, there's always the collective of people that are just unhappy I did that and say it ruins the series. So it's one of those like I never have in this series just because I'm trying to keep it as pure as possible. Hang on, we got some bacon and eggs here. We'll eat a couple of these. I did make a little bit of boiled meat last night, too. So you can use one of those and one of these. Get the food and the health and the water up a little bit. Nice. Got a leather crate up here. Some Ford Bites. I don't usually use those much, but they definitely help out with damage mitigation. I mean, they just drop your water by so much, I typically don't grab them. Something good. Ooh, triple pocket mod. What are you? Uh, Hang on. Oh, I can get honey from regular trees. That's fantastic. Triple pocket mods, some bullets to a gun I don't have, and another first aid bandage. That's great. Let's see. Okay, so that goes on armor. Can I put you on there? And boom. Yes, look, we got that extra spot. That's freaking awesome. Military armor parts be a while before we can make military armor, but I would love to have it eventually. Oh, that's a good find. I'm glad we came in here, man. Vitamins, nice. So if I can find some... uh sandwiches i can go ahead and just eat those i could kind of sort of take apart this place for wood because it's laying around i mean you get a little bit of wood for these like that's not much Ooh, some books coffee seed recipe okay i'll read you for the xp but i don't really need your purse with money that's not too bad either i kind of want to see if i could attract that wolf over here just so i can get rid of him how much wood did we end up getting 17 that's enough to upgrade one block we're going to have to go grab some more. But we have a ton of stuff on us. What I need to do is actually I need to you. He's right there. Look. Hang on. Let's see here. Look at him sitting there right there. Okay. This this may be dumb. Lois, don't wake the wolf up. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. We have to do it now. Okay. 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 Don't fall down. Come on in, wolf. Come on in. Where you is? Where, 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 where'd you go? Hang on. We're, we're gonna... We need the wood anyway, so we might as well see if we can't make a, a tiny little hatch here where we can see what's going on. And this will be our temporary run to spot if things with teeth start coming at us. Sounds like he's unhappy outside the building. So, yep. Where, where are you, sir? I'm over here. Come over here. I see your poofy little tail. Put you over there real quick. Uh, let me see. I could make... I'm going to make myself one frame. Put you right here. See if I can put you right... Oh, careful, careful, Cap. Careful. One... Okay, that could work. Go ahead and upgrade you a little bit just in case. Okay, come here, Wolf. Oh, yeah. Okay, so shotgun works. We just firing off a test round at Lois. <laughs> She's like, what in the sweet hell, man? What, are you gonna... I don't think so, ma'am. We don't need you climbing up here with me. All right, so let's see where the wolf is digging an extra hole here. Okay, did it go outside? Come here. Hey. Are you, did you make it inside now? Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Can you not see I'm busy? If that wolf figures out how to climb up here, it's gonna be a bad day for me. Come here, wolf. Let me run around this side. Maybe I can get him to come in. Oh, there he is. He's kind of in. <laughs> he's inside, but he's trapped behind a shelf. Is it cheesy? Absolutely. Are we going to do it? You bet your butt we are. I don't even feel bad. No, you came running up at me. Yes, I did shoot you in the butt with an arrow, which I'm taking back now, but still. Nice. Okay, we have a temporary thing that works if animals go wild and we need to deal with them. Kind of curious as to what's in this house now. Be useful. Hang on. I do. How much cobblestone did I get? Cobble. I got 70. That should be enough to upgrade at least. Okay, it's only 10 for each one of those. So nice. If I could upgrade at least the bottoms on these. And that'll use 40 of them. 
Okay, so that helps out a little bit. That's nice. Okay, so I'm kind of liking the way this looks. This general look here. That, that's going to look pretty sweet, I think. And he went down. All right, I want to go... Okay, never mind. I'm not going to go in that way. Uh, let me make sure everything's reloaded. I want to go see if there's anything in this house that's worth getting. Since it's our new neighbors, we might as well check it out. Let's see Arlene's over there jumping on my fence. All right, let's get a little bit of extra wood while we're standing here. Let me see. Here's what I can do. Let me make a couple more frames. 20. That's actually not too bad. It's enough to get started. Okay, so I need to make ladder. I'm going to do you like that and like that. And then I should be able to upgrade you. Oh, I don't have any more wood. Okay, well, this at least allow me to jump up here. Yeah. All right, so what I may end up doing is, and I had a thought, and we may have to bust out one of these little blocks in order for me to do that. Let me put this back to where it needs to go, just in case something comes running up at me, and I need to very quickly nerd pull up. Good to go. Okay, all right, so we got a ladder up, so we can run up there if we have to. Now let's see if we can figure out what's inside this house. We'll check the, uh... Oh, hey, I was going to say head of her rope. There we go. All right, we got a candle here. We can go ahead and pick you up because it's extra light. That's free. I am not encumbered. Oh, I am encumbered. Eh? Well, okay then. You know what? Uh, no, not yet. I'll worry about that. Is there anything up there or is there even a way to get up there? Kind of interesting. What are you? Hops. Okay, we're not making beer just yet. Maybe one of these days. Free food's always good. Go ahead and just eat you. That's paper. All right. See if our neighbor's got anything good in this house. Go ahead and take you real quick because we can always use you for extra light. Let me scrap you down. I don't need my hammer with me this very second. Is there anything else? Okay, I don't have to have those. I don't have to have that. Okay, that's all the stuff I don't have to have. Now I can have the torch so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Anybody in there? I'm not really being quiet at all here. Uh, torch so you guys can see what's going on, and it'll help keep us from getting too cold, you know, should it start snowing on us again. What's up, Glenn? What you doing hiding in the ceiling, man? Uh-oh. Sorry, we fell off here. Come on down. Dude. I'm not, but I am. Okay, where'd you come from? You were up there. Is anybody else up there with you? Hey, it's Jiggles. What's up, girl? You were the star of our last episode, huh? Poor night. You made it right in the center of the thumbnail. Let me see. I think if I take you off the wall, does it give me another? Yes, it does. Nice. Free candles. Now, candles do generate heat just like uh, torches do, so they can call in uh, screamers if you have too many of them. But it's not a horrible thing to use for lighting up your base when you can't really make them yourself. Oh, that looked like it hurt a lot. Yep, that looked like I heard a lot. Where did y'all fall from? Oh, you're up there. In the, okay, was there any treasure up there with you? Was it just the two of you kind of hanging out doing your thing? Okay, so it was more of like an access to the attic. Okay, no big deal. Come on, it's something I don't have. I have that. I, I have I have plenty of that, actually. I, I don't want it anymore. Maybe you'll have something, though. Yes, what do we have? Insulated liner mod schematic. Oh, that's actually something useful. Okay, so what do I need to be able to make an insulated liner mod? I'm busy right at the moment. Okay, so I need a workbench, but we're getting on that. Cloth. Okay, so this is all stuff that's relatively easy to come by. I Well, I, I say relatively easy, but now that I actually need it for something, it'll be impossible. Let me see. Go ahead and get all these chairs. Oh, hail to the no. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. He's going to blow his load here. <laughs> that sounded nasty. Carl? <laughs> what did you... Eh, what did you do? It sounds like we have a bit of a wandering horde out here. We might want to go outside and take care of them before they figure out how to get in here, you know? Oh, lordy, lordy. There's a lot going on out here. Fruit? Oh, he is hiding the safe. Nice. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of... Hang on. We're going to need to go... Oh, I can't get out that way. Crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, okay. Uh, we're gonna have to get them to funnel. Are you reloaded? Are you reloaded? Okay, you're reloaded, okay. Okay, so we got, we got uh, two hits there. See if we can just do some headshots.
Okay, I hear some more outside. Let's see if we can come out here and head them off. We we dealt with a lot of them inside. Let's see if we can figure out where all the idiots are outside that are causing problems. Lois, a little late to the party here. Okay, there's probably some more. I think that was quite the party that showed up inside the house. That was uh, that was a little bit more than I was ready to handle. <laughs> that uh, we're okay. Food wise, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these. Gives me a little bit of health. Get the food back up. A little bit of water. We're we're okay. It it wasn't a detrimental thing. It was just one of those that I was definitely not ready for that many people to show up in the house at the same. Oh, an actual pistol. Ha! We don't have one of those. And some aloe cream. <laughs> Sweet. Go ahead and get you and some free. Oh yeah, that's not bad. An actual pistol. I don't know if I have any nine millimeter ammo or not, but. Every little bit can help if I get a chance to. They'll shoot way faster than all the pipe weapons I have. Do I have any lock picks? I have 12. I want to try it. Yeah, we only broke like two of them. That's not too bad. Ammo and machete parts. I'm not going to be making a machete. I'm going to leave the... I could sell those. Technically, what I could do is I could make myself another chest outside and go ahead and... Uh, you know, drop a bunch of stuff off there if I need to. The trader's right down the road, so I could run over there and sell a bunch of stuff to him if I don't need it, like some of these parts. Be nice when I can start moving all of my actual supplies over here. I need to make some storage. Oh, nice. I definitely need those. Let me see. I can go ahead and repair you and repair you while I can. Good to go. Okay, so I think that's everything in the kitchen. Switch back over to the torch and see if there's anything else we're missing. A little bit of water. Okay, we're good to go. Breaker box. Go ahead and grab you. Free light's always nice. Okay, there should not be anybody left to wake up. I mean, at this point, you you got to be kidding me if there's anybody else left in this entire area. Oh, those aren't too... Eh, I'll take that back. I, I take that back. Those aren't too bad to start with, but they're not great. And that's pretty much... Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so... What are we using here? We got the we got a duster right now. It's at fifteen point seven. This is at twenty two point five. That is not too bad. That's not too bad. I needed to take that. I mean, the duster works good, but that's a good puffer coat. Where are you? And then I can take you and modify and put you on there. Just kind of keep you out of the way. I can't really sell you for much, but that definitely helps out a lot. At 22.5 versus 15.7. That's a decent change there. That's awesome. Hey, that's a good find. Oh, crap. Okay, so we're not alone anymore. Oh, sorry about that, Glenn. I was trying to hit Lois and it wasn't your turn. Generator right there. Whew, man. A little bit of gasoline. Yeah, I'm going to have to go make myself a chest in order to keep myself from being completely encumbered. You know what? Hey, what are you... Cellar door. Nice. That's that's quick, easy way out. Sweet. Let's go see who's banging on whatever is going on over here. Hey, what's up, dude? Keep an eye on other things. Oh, it's Crawler, dude. Lieutenant Dan. There's Owen. Hey, there's my block from earlier that I had to use. Did I seriously? Okay, so seriously, the zombies had to have broken this when they were coming in to see me here. And I didn't just set a block down to jump over a fence right next to a freaking entrance. That's just stupid. Okay, do I have, I do have some wood, right? I need to go drop off a few things, which I can do technically just literally right here at my base so that I don't have to go very far to put some of this stuff back into regular chests. Okay, much better. Now we can head back inside and finish looting this basement. We haven't even got to the main loot. Nice, I like these, I like these cellar doors. That might be something that I could eventually use on the particular base that I'm making now, some sort of extra entrance or whatever. Corn seeds, I use that, more machete parts, vitamins in an empty jar. How about a, ooh, an extra engine, that's not bad. Yeah, I hear you, you're unhappy. Sounds like you have gas too. And that's the end of the POI, so it doesn't look like there was a main big loot. Let's see who's causing a ruckus now. Sid, you ugly hombre. Whoops. Swing and a miss. Are you worth anything? Nope. What are you? Is this a chicken coop? That's kind of cool. Be better if there was a whole bunch of eggs in there. Instead of just an empty nest basically outside of it. Right, so apparently that's all of this POI that I can tell. I'm not seeing anything else that I missed here specifically. It's not too bad. I mean, we got some stuff. We got the triple pocket mod, which I'm definitely happy about. We got um, something else. 
Oh yeah, we got a regular pistol. That's pretty good. I need to go get, look, there's a bunch of trees over here. We need a ton of wood. So I need to go ahead and get as much as humanly possible. All right, let's get a little bit of wood on us. All right, sounds like Al's coming over here to say hi to us. So we'll pause and greet him. You never want to turn away a fan. Are you done? Okay, you're done. All right, that'll put us at 500 wood. That's not a huge, huge amount, but it's at least a pretty decent start. Cleared out some trees between our base and the trader, so we should be able to see that as long as it's not foggy. And get over and do a little bit more upgrades or uh, building onto, I guess, and kind of get it a little bit closer to being a house. Full upgrades, of course, we're going to need a ton of cobblestone for, so we're going to have to do some more looting to be able to do that, but at least we can kind of get started with some of this. If we could get... The, at least the basic concept of how we want the walls going, that would be fantastic. Okay, that should be pretty good. Now, let me see how much I can do. Let me see if I did a one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I was going to try and do like a, let me see, a five by five. I'm, saying, I'm trying to decide exactly how, let me see. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So I could technically do a perfectly square room like this and make a platform all the way around but a four by four let me see that would make no that would end up with being some really narrow walls all of my no i need to go a little bit wider than that i can have a walking path i mean i can go out a little bit wider if i was going to do like a six by six let me see where do i have my columns at they're right on the very end here so i could technically go out like this and it would still be supported with that, that little bit of extra weight there and then having that, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then if I did walls in seven by seven, that would be a little bit dicey when it came to doing the rooftop, but it wouldn't be horrible. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have a door going up right there. Uh, let me see what that would look like from the ground. Make sure there's nothing around here is going to eat me. Uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, so that goes out one much further than this one. So I'd end up having to do like that, obviously, to make the floor even all the way around. And I might be able to do that. Worst case scenario, because we got a we got about a seven block stretch right here between these columns right here. Worst case scenario, I end up having to put an extra support right here and right here. But fortunately, when you're building or when you're putting frames down, Hold on, I'll show you just in case of something you didn't know. When you're highlighting it right now, see it's normal color. If you're starting to reach the end of what's considered durable, then it'll start reaching yellow. And if it turns pink, that means you've lost structural integrity. And if you start trying to do anything from there, it's going to completely fall apart. I think if I did this wide all the way around, that would give me room for I can do chests over here, like workbench and chem station over here, cooking pot and forge and cement mixture over here. And I don't need a ton of room in here and I can always build up to go upwards here. I think that would work out. Uh, let me see, I should probably go ahead and make some more frames first. I just I need to make another 30. Actually, let's, we're gonna need them all, so I might as well make 50. It goes pretty quickly anyway. I can get the next layer of the floor all the way around. Okay, that should be okay there. If I ended up having to, I could always move these columns and put them outside there if I need to. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I'm going to have enough wood to upgrade all these all the way around. I'll at least get the corners, so structural integrity-wise, it's got a little bit of extra support from where the wood's connecting here. All right, that actually might work. I mean, if I do like this and like this, like that. See, I'm keeping that right there, so I can, I can walk around the outside if I need to you know, shoot down on things or if I need to just move around real quick, I can, you know, have a little railing out here. If nothing else, I can always do it just in the very front. Uh, I can put like another block there, remove these ladders. Hang on. Like that and like that. Put you like that and then I can put a ladder right there. Okay. Jump back up here. Then we'll have the door going in like that and that should pretty much do it. Let's see here. I've got enough frames. I should be able to go all the way around. Okay, let's see what that'll look like here. Okay, so that'll make an okay, that'll make an okay base. Again, I don't need a tremendous amount of room. If I have, you know, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, as far as storage crates over here, what I kind of want to do is I want to put one in right here. 
Let me see, where would that go? Right, that'd go right there. I can make it a drop chest. That way, if I'm coming over here in a hurry, I can just boom, throw everything in there. Call it good. Let's see if we can get a sneaky peach shot on Lois. I don't know what she's doing. A little higher. Gotcha. A little bit of extra XP is always a little bit nice. Okay. Okay. We need to get back to the house, our actual safe place down the road here. We got a little bit of ways to go to get there. I mean, I could technically hang out right over here, but I need to make sure I have plenty of food and water and all this extra stuff there. So I'm going to run back home. Not really that big a deal. But anyway, we got a good start to the base. We got a little ways to go here. We might be able to get at least the basic structure of it done in two. And then, of course, then we have the task of bringing everything over. I do want to do some more quests for Trader Dude so I can get a bicycle pretty soon. Because that would definitely speed things up a lot. I can't put that much inventory into a bike, of course. But to be able to, you know, ride it back and forth without hobbling over slowly would definitely be a nice little beneficial thing, too. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me... Oh, my... Okay, um, I don't think the bear saw us, despite us running right into him. That, that was a good sized pucker right there, man. Hey, there's a bear. Holy crap. Whew. Okay, I don't know what happened. Maybe I scared him as much as he scared me. Let's just get home. We got an hour before everything starts running, and I definitely don't want to deal with a bear while I'm trying to run from everything else. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss on future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.